Look how big this guy's smile is. That is my kind of pumpkin right there. That guy is so excited about Halloween right now. Holy crap, guys, I am over in Canton, Ohio, because I heard just recently that the at-home store already has some Halloween stuff. Yeah, can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> just walking in the door, I do not see Halloween stuff yet, but I do see these little friendly fellows. What in the world is that? Excuse me, sir, do you see any Halloween stuff? Which direction is it? Oh my lord, it is true. It is true. Look, we'll give you a peek. But look at this. Holy crap, it is skulls galore. Look at this. This is a black skull. What in the world? Do you put like a drink in here or something? There's a cork. Okay, so there's a black one. And here's like a silvery gold one. And here's the crystal skull, like from Indiana Jones. That is actually pretty cool. I could put cherry coke in there. Look at this, this one's green, and it has an even bigger cork. What in the, is that a light? Ooh, look what it's doing, I pushed the cork. Hold on, okay, let me set it down here. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Okay, let's turn it off, I don't wanna get, whoa, it's still lit up, I tried to turn it off. Okay, so one push makes it blank, another push is solid. Um, there we go, that one's fast blinking. Really difficult to see that one though, because it's so dark. Okay, is this Halloween stuff? Who needs Halloween? I'm a witch all year. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, my pretties. And then we have the black cat here. Oh, we have like the potion bottles. That's pretty cool. And look at this one. Curses, spells, and a bigger book of spells. Hello, Mr. Owl. Look at this one. This is pretty cool. It's a witch's shoe. Boo, spooky. Look at this, there's even a little witch on the shoe. I think it holds a candle too. And in here is a witch's broom. I'd like one witch's broom, please. Deadly toadstools, witch's pots, I guess you'd call them. What in the world is this though? It's a garden from the witch's, no, it's a pillow from the witch's garden. What in the world? And here's a witch's garden tree. For $50, you can own a black plastic tree for your witch garden. Here's a couple of different kind of pumpkies. I forgot, people get mad when I call pumpkins pumpkies, but pumpkies rule, especially this one. Look at this, that is pretty cool. Hmm, okay. Look at this, I, don't, I think these are candles. Yeah, scented candles. Deadly nightshade, mossy pine hollow, and witch hazel. That is pretty cool. I love those two colors together. That is so halloween -y. And look, there's a little witch on it. Holy crap, guys, look at this. We have the Hocus Pocus Black Flame Candle. I am excited. I might have to buy this. Okay, look. Made from the fat of a hangman, legend says that on a full moon, it will raise the spirits of the dead when lit up by a virgin on Halloween night. That is pretty cool. Okay, wait, wait, we got a switch. Oh, I can't get to it. It's covered with plastic, so I can't turn the switch on. But that is awesome. I believe that the new Hocus Pocus movie comes out this Halloween. And look at these spooky guys. This giant eyeball. I think that's a candle, too. I believe so. And then this is a skull candle. Um, I guess that's it. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not it. This is... Is totally cool. Look at this. These are two green witch finger candles. You light the tips of the fingers. Holy crap. <laughs> Imagine the size of that witch. Oh, and here's another candle we missed. Poison. So look, there's three of them. These are so cool. Look at these. Poison, deadly nightshade, and witch hazel. Those look so totally awesome. And we have some Spooky mugs, let's get spooky. It's a sparkly mug. And drink up witches. 
And we can't forget about the pillows. Broom hair, don't care. All right, a real quick scan of this stuff in case there's some Halloween stuff before we go in. And I don't see any more, but I do see this fine fellow over here. Look at this guy. He is the king of the jungle. Hello, king. Okay, back down here because I saw pumpkins. Pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. I'm so excited I can't stand it. I love when I'm in stores like this filming stuff and I notice that somebody's watching me like, what is wrong with this guy? I love Halloween so much. Look at all these jack-o'-lanterns. These are just regular pumpkies down here. In fact, these might be the kind, yeah, I believe these are the kind that you can uh, carve. I carved a couple of those last year. Kind of difficult, I don't know. I guess you're supposed to carve them like, cut open the bottom and then carve a face, but I cut off the top as you would carve a regular jack-o'-lantern. But look at these, these are so cool. They're not blow molds, but they are big plastic pumpkins. I would love to have every one of those in my front yard. Imagine if you just had like a thousand of those all over your front yard. And then you could get like inflatable ghosties that would be rising up from the pumpkin patch. And then down here we have smaller ones, but look how big this guy's smile is. That is my kind of pumpkin right there. That guy is so excited about Halloween right now. <laughs> and then there's these guys, they all light up but you have to plug them in, don't, do you? Oh no, there's a switch. Um, okay, it's turned on already, but the light must be burned out or else you have to put a battery in or something. That one's pretty cool, but I just absolutely love this guy with the giant smiles. And look, they kind of have buck teeth. If you look at them, you can kind of see where the teeth are like, uh. <laughs> and then of course we have these white ones up here, the pumpkin stack, and there's also orange ones. The smiles are just different this year on these pumpkins. Like they're so happy to be in the stores already. We're gonna have to come back here because a lot of this is so empty and I know that they're gonna get so many awesome things in here. But look at this sign, the witch is in. That is actually a pretty cool sign. And then we have free flying lessons. It's a witch hat on a witch broom. All right, let's go around the corner here. Um, oh, we do have a couple more things. There's a couple of wel welcome pumpkies and a couple of things down there. Oh, look, I almost missed these. Look, we have a skull and then we have a three skull. Do not enter, oh my gosh. This is one of the coolest things ever. Look at this. <laughs> Holy crap, look. It reminds me of Gary on SpongeBob. It's Gary's eyes if he were a Halloween snail. That is so cool. Like just when you think they couldn't come up with something else new, they come up with something awesome like that. You stick it in your garden and the eyes just sit there and bob around. And of course we have the awesome candy corn. Look, it's a three piece candy corn and there's little bats. There's bats on there. How cool is that? All right, and then we have just these flags here, which they're kind of Halloween-y. They're more just like fall stuff, but look at this one. Meet me at the pumpkin patch, and it's orange plaid. That is way cool. Look, the truck is even green, and it's filled with pumpkins. Oh, I love how there's even more stuff down here. And I have to start with this little house right here. Look at this, too cute to spook. I'm not even sure what that means, but it's kind of cool. And it's sitting right beside an awesome orange pumpkin friend. Look at these sparkly pumpkins. And what is this? Trick or treat yourself. Apparently you set this out on your porch and put candy in and one kid comes up and takes it all. Holy crap, look at the little Halloween ghosties. I love the look on their face. Are these candles? Yeah, these are candles, four candles ghosty candles. I love them. And candy corn candles. I guess all of this, well not all of it, but most of it is candles. You gotta love candy corn, man. It just screams Halloween. Look, it's Halloween heroes. Look, we have a cat friend. A Halloween cat friend. Oh, this one looks like Beetlejuice. It reminds me of the sandworm. And what in the world is this? Look, it's a ghost hunter's truck with a pumpkin candle in the back. I think that truck feels like it's ceramic or something. 
But that little tiny pumpkin, that's actually a candle. That's not much bigger than a tea candle that you would put inside a jack-o'-lantern. And what is this? It's like a black cat candle. That, I don't know, it's kind of cool, but it's kind of weird. What? Look, it's brain candles. What are, it's a bleeding brain. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I've seen these before, and if this is what I think it is, you light the little candle wick right there. Is there another wick? No, there's only one, but you light the wick, and then as it melts, it's actually red. So, like, the, the wax that melts and runs down over this brain would be red, and it looks like it's actually bleeding, kind of like this. When you light it, the wax will run down like it's blood. And speaking of, these are pretty cool themselves. I wonder if the wax that runs out on this one is black. Here's a black skull candle. Okay. And then, ooh, this one's like pearl. That's an awesome color. And look at this, a bag o skulls. Regular candles, it's like a pillar candle with a skull on it, that's cool. And look at these little ones. These are little, tiny, black, creepy skull candles. Those are pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at this spooky guy. This almost looks like a pumpkin that has been carved and has been sitting out for probably three weeks and has just started to kind of smash. Cause look at his mouth. <laughs> that is too funny. Ooh, and he's got a bell. You can just barely hear it, but it does ring. And he's got a bat too. It's like a bat in the belfry. <laughs> Look at these, these are cool. Is this a candle? No, this is not a candle. It's just a pumpkin. It, oh, it lights up too. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, well, I flipped the switch, but it doesn't light up at the moment. Um, but look at this. Look at this cool design on here. We got a spooky tree. Oh my gosh, and look, he's got a spooky face, too. There's a black cat, a headstone, a spooky face, spooky tree, bats on the top, and then there's an awesome haunted house right there. How cool is that? What in the world is this curious little fellow? Look at the face on that guy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you gotta love Halloween so much. And look, we have a black bird right here. He's kind of spooky. Home sweet haunted home. Another crow, an outline of a crow. Ghost hunters, spooky skull, I think. Yeah, this is a candle. That's a long wick on that candle. Look how long his face is. Why the long face, sir? These are kind of cool right here. I like those designs. All right, we got a black cat. We got welcome gnomes, each with their own special little pumpkin. Oh, look, we got a black cat candle. I like the eyes on that guy. That's pretty cool. Okay, now these are pretty cool. Look at this, we got a beware sign, a welcome sign that's shaped like a coffin, and look at this tall Scala guy. That is so cool. I would love to have that for my front door. I just might have to get one of those to put out when it's Halloween. Look at the scrunched up face on this guy. This is so cool. I swear, every year they come out with more awesome stuff. Look, this is basically like a pumpkin that has a skull face. And I know it's white, but it's got the stem and then it's scrunched up. That, <laughs> that is so awesome. How do they think of so much cool stuff at Halloween? Oh, and we have the king of skulls right here. Look how it's red inside. Is that a candle too? And they got so many candles. This is a bleeding candle too. So this is like I was talking about with the brain. You light it on top and then as it melts, the wax that comes out is red. And what is this? Creepy Curiosities, black cognac and rum. It's a scented candle that apparently smells like Cognac and rum. Ooh, does the top? Yes. Okay, hold on. I gotta give it a whiff. Mmm. That actually smells really good. Mm. Couple more candles here. And then we have. Look at this. Oh, this is sweet. This is like a spider nacho dish. Look, you put your cheese concoction in there, or beans, or whatever kind of dip you want. And then you put all your chips out here, and you just sit here and munch while you're watching Halloween movies. Then you reach over onto this one to get your Halloween muffins, and you grab this monster 
for your Halloween hot chocolate. And then you reach in here for your Halloween cookies. I love this multi-skull bowl. Look at this. That is so cool. You could put Halloween candy in there or other chips or whatever you want. Sorry, guy, I'll get my hand out of your eye. And a mini skull and crossbones dish. That's pretty cool. Is there more? Holy crap, guys, there seriously is more. There's even more in this aisle. Let's go down this one first because I see more. Oh, hello, squirrel friends. And look at these pleasant owls here. Okay, not much in this aisle, but we do have this, which is another pumpkin candle. And then we have these. And this guy down here, hello, friends. I'm not going to forget about you. But look at this guy down here. He makes this whole aisle worth it. Look at these crazy googly eyes. It looks like he's been spinning like this and he's like, whoa. All right, let's keep on moving here. We got a couple of gnomes with pumpkins. These are more just like fall things, including that fox down there. Hello, fall. Um, yeah. I mean, it's Halloween-y, but it's just fall stuff. This is actually a really, really cool pumpkin pie plate. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, I guess that's it, unfortunately. What in the world? I'm kind of surprised that they don't have any inflatables out yet because that's usually one of the first things they put out in here. But make sure you do stick around because we are going to New Jersey on July 30th for the grand opening of the Spirit Halloween flagship store. And I can't wait. I'm, I'm just gonna go off, I'm so excited. Stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing?